I'm sorry if I sound weird. It's the combination of a pretty shitty microphone and I'm fighting a cold right now. Okay, so I am so sorry about the mic quality. It is so bad. Um, I did not know how bad it was until I started editing editing the video. I'm I am so sorry. A few hours ago, Jay Schlatt, big guy, or the Weekly Slap, however you all know him as, he uploaded a video five hours ago, and in it he basically talked about how his work ethic was that he always had to be doing something and that if he was taking time for himself he, there could have been better things that he could have been doing like like working on videos um um creating new ideas stuff like that and it really couldn't have come at a better time for me actually um <clears throat> right now I don't have a lot of subscribers on YouTube I don't have a lot of followers on Instagram or TikTok um, but you know I, I'm trying to make it uh, you can probably hear my computer in the background because let me show you this is this is the brains of their operation it's just one computer or not even a computer it's a PC yeah my I got my dinner right there <coughs> But, back to the point of working too much, I guess, was the point of his video. <clears throat> and I'm sorry if the, the audio sounds rough. I am using a Walmart brand microphone, and as you can tell, I'm using a Walmart brand webcam. Because I am a broke college student. And speaking of which, I just started a new job. Not just started a new job. I started a new job when my sophomore year of uh, college started and it was a lot different than the job I had previously. The job I had previously was working as a team lead for Panera and I mean it's as good as fast food or food service can get. Um, I had a lot of good people I worked with I enjoyed working with them but I, I just had to get out of there because it's the food service and through a family friend, and I, through the grace of God, our family friend told us, told my mom, about a job opening at a financial institution. We'll just say that. And it's, it's an office job. It pays well, 19 an hour, pretty well for a college student. I was getting, I was getting paid like 13.50 at, at fucking Panera. Yeah, so, college semester and a new office job started at the same time as well as my focus i guess you would say on content creation i started making more short videos for tiktok and instagram reels and tiktok wasn't gaining much traction i did gain a decent amount of views on instagram reels um but it i'm not gonna say it wasn't enough because i'm grateful for every view that i get so what we have now what do we have now? We have a new job that deals with a lot of information that I was not that I'm not used to. I had my college semester starting up. I was focusing on content creation. All this while I am also an affiliate with Alpha Lion, so I need to create more content, um, specifically gym content, because Alpha Lion's a supplement company. Code Sleepy for 10% off your order, by the way. So my point is that I had a a lot of I had a lot of shit that was going on at once and it, it's it's hard um, one, of, one of the classes I'm taking is very um, time-consuming it is a graphics design class and we have to use Adobe applications like Photoshop InDesign and Illustrator and that can take a while I, it was I don't want to get into it it's just a lot of work for one class <clears throat> and I get college supposed to be a lot of work but so yeah, a lot of stuff going on at once, and I was at work, my dog just came in my room, hey buddy, well before I get into that, there's, I don't know what happened over the past like, I think two or three weeks, um, but I just have had this, this mentality of I have to get rich, I have to be well off, I don't want to financially suffer, I have to 
I have to like work, like work and work and work. Well, I think I know what the catalyst was. I was um, I was at work and I had nothing to do, so I was looking up pretty expensive homes on Zillow. And I was like, these are really cool, and I don't want, I don't want like a multi-million-dollar mansion. That's not what I'm going for. But seeing those houses and how nice they were, I was like. What am I gonna do? Like, I... I can't afford to do the stuff I want to do... Working... At an office job. I can't... That's not feasible. Maybe it is for some people. But... Me being a religious man, and a man of God and Christ, I have a very, very hard time believing that I was... I was put on this earth solely to work for a corporate office job and don't get me wrong super grateful for the job I have now I'm not I can't do this for what 55 more years I I can't I, it's not gonna happen so gosh I keep going on tangents you're gonna find this out about me um I love talking I love talking about like just yesterday I sent a this okay this is the last tangent before I get to the main point Yesterday, I went on a tangent. I, I, I sent a text to my friend. I was like, you ever notice how weird time is? Like, if we, as a species, existed on Mars, a Mars day would be pretty similar to an Earth day. It would be a little bit slower. But a Mars year would almost be double what an Earth year is. And our seconds would be, like, different time... Our second on Mars would be a different second on on earth just because of how differently mars rotates and revolves around the sun anyways um as i was saying like mindset of i have to work very hard i like i can't really afford to i can't afford to not make it and then Schlatt comes out with this video um he comes out with this video and he's like i had this mentality of if i'm not doing something that's more time that I could be doing something, if that makes sense. I'm not good at explaining things, but he was just like, eventually I learned how to take a step back and to just relax. And I'm working on a fairly large project for YouTube right now. Like this is the largest project I've worked on. I haven't worked on many projects. Like I've done Luigi's Mansion theory video, which I actually did very well for me not promoting it. It had like 600 something views, which was crazy to me that it just got recommended and people were like, hey, that sounds interesting. I'm going to watch it. Like, that's crazy to me. Like 670 something people were like, this is interesting. And this was, I don't even know when I uploaded that video. Let me check. Actually, I like watching Wendigo and I'm like, I want to make a video. I want to make a video essay. And I came in with that video. Eight months ago 636 views and I don't know I don't know why I didn't do something similar because I love making these those types of video I love making video essays um I can't, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm not, I mean it's unlikely this video is gonna get any views anyway I'm not gonna tell you what the project is because I wanted to be a surprise and by some miracle if this does take off Man, this is like, and I'm not talking about this this video particularly. I'm talking about my career. I don't want to call it a career because that sounds stupid. But like, if I can work as a content creator for a job, I'd be fucking amazing. Because again, like I said, I cannot do an office job for the rest of my life. There's no possible way I'm gonna be stuck in an office eight hours a day, five days a week, 52 weeks a year for fucking 50 years not not gonna happen I'm not gonna get into another tangent right now so like I'm working on a fairly large project the largest project I've worked on this channel so far and I've done probably around three hours of work just for researching this topic it's a bunch of topics it, okay I'll give you a hint it's an iceberg um I'm doing an iceberg video and I've done about three hours of research not even halfway done yet <laughs> like it's a really big project and I was like man I have to get this done and I was like dang I have to work super fast and I need to 
not waste any time because a big part of my problem is that I feel like I never have enough time for anything like I'll go to the gym and I'll be like okay if I go to the gym for two hours I come home I can make breakfast in 30 minutes I can shower 15 minutes then maybe I'll have enough time to watch like a video on YouTube and then maybe I'll have enough time to watch one video on YouTube before I go to class and then to work and then come home and do homework and it's it's just I don't know why I have that problem it's just if I can't gain traction now dude <laughs> okay we're gonna try this again I feel like if I can't go viral now or if I can't gain traction that I never will be able to, and then I'll be stuck in an office job. And I just have this, like this, like this passion, and I don't have a whole lot of talent. Like I've, everything that I've done, content creation-wise, I've had to learn by myself. I've had to learn how to split videos. I've had to learn how to merge audio. I've learned, how, I've had to learn how to use animations on images. Um, so I'm, I'm self-taught. I don't have any talent, but if I can work hard enough and I have enough dedication. To make this like a career nobody will know how grateful I am because this is truly one of my passions and I thought I was gonna be playing soccer for the rest of my life I've I started playing soccer when I was five and I stopped when I was 18 because I got into lifting and and I got into lifting I was like oh this is really cool I want to be a bodybuilder and then like, I started doing more content creation because when I was 16, I think it was... No, no, it was even, it was even before that, actually. Hold on. So I joined May 13th, 2020. A little over three years ago. So I was 15 when I started my YouTube channel. And, <laughs> like, I didn't have this computer. I, get, I just got this computer a year ago for school. I had this, I had this really, really shitty laptop that had to be plugged in at all times or else it would die and <laughs> i kid you not if you tried to do anything on it it would freeze and it would crash like i tried i tried to watch i tried to use hulu on the computer and it was crashing like i there was no way i could have edited videos so what i did was when warzone came out i was like okay here is how i'm going <laughs> here's how i'm going to make it big here's how i'm going to make all the money i ever want i'm going to record on the PS4, me playing Warzone, no microphone, no commentary, upload one hour worth <laughs> of just straight just Warzone. Didn't matter if I was in the middle of the match, didn't matter if the match ended, one hour. I would upload that to YouTube and I was like, this is how I'm gonna make all my money. No commentary, Warzone that had no editing, no music, no no entertainment whatsoever. It was a no microphone no commentary one hour long video of some random ass guy playing warzone eventually i started doing commentary videos first one i did was when a news article or this guy wanted to ban video games or whatever that was the first commentary video i did and that i thought i did okay i was using my gaming headset microphone it was a turtle beach headset and it only had one headphone and the other part was just a strap that goes over your head the microphone quality was pretty shit i'm not gonna lie it was pretty bad and this is really just me feeling around how i wanted to make content because i was watching moist critical and i was watching diesel patches and i was like hey this seems pretty cool if i can just talk about my opinions and make money that way might as well so i did that for a while i stopped i had started my my junior year and that was bad because that was that was a year after COVID hit. That was still when I had to do online school. And I took some college courses and uh, I don't want to get into it, but that was just not a good time in my life. Um, I, so I didn't have any time to make any videos because I was, I was still playing soccer all the time. So I had I had practice in games that I had to go to and I just other obligations that YouTube did not take priority over. Junior year ended 
Summer happened, and I uploaded the video. This was in June of 2020, so this... <laughs> so the summer after junior year ended, and it was called Where I'm Headed. It was pretty much me saying how I'm going to be very active on making content. And holy shit, was that a lie? Because the time frame from when I uploaded this video, the one titled Where I'm Headed, and my next video, well, I already had a video in the works that I uploaded pretty much right after I uploaded the Where I'm Headed video. Excluding that video, it took me a whole year to upload my next video. So that was a big fucking lie. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't make any more videos besides that one video in between those two and it was four minutes long it was it was a it was a it was a video of me playing a horror game that that was a demo it wasn't even the full game <sighs> so okay i started moving away from commentary videos and i started making i you can't really call it entertainment <laughs> because it was just me taking whatever trends were popular on tiktok or instagram at the time and putting it into a YouTube video. Like, the first actual entertaining video I did was called Kind of Funny Con Video. And it was really just... It was pretty much like a YouTube poop video. It was like a shit post. And then my next one was called Roblox Uno with Friends. And this was the, this was the first video I was actually proud to put on my channel. Because this was the first video where I actually put time and effort into what I was making and I felt like I was actually like I don't know, I wouldn't say worthy um I felt again just proud of what I made like looking back at my progress and seeing just seeing like where <laughs> where I started and now like I sound like I have a, a th hundred thousand fucking subscribers I have 102 subscribers at the time of recording this I don't like I'm not really known at all um but I'm not, of course I'd love to get a lot of views and a lot of subs, it's just the fact that I did this by myself, I, I didn't really have anybody there to guide me, and I just figured stuff out by myself. Um, this has gotten really off track, this is a lot longer of a video than I wanted to make. Um, and then I also made a few commentary videos along the way. I uploaded one called You Have No Enemies, and it was pretty much me talking about how, um, how much I've, like, changed throughout the years, and how I'm a lot more proud of myself now than I was a year, two years, three years ago. Yeah, okay, this video has gone on long enough. Um, what the fuck was my point? I think, I think my main point was I was talking about this project I'm working on for this YouTube channel, how it's going to take a lot of time, and I felt like I had to get it done, because if I don't, I'm going to fail, I'm going to, like, become nobody, I'm going to uh, just fade away into the obscurity and work an office job, a 9 to 5 for the rest of my life, not going to happen, I'm going to make this work, <laughs> I don't care how long it takes, but when Schlack came out with that video today, I was at work. My left arm is kind of, mm, looks kind of meaty. Anyway, so I came home, and I was, I was eating my 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 dinner, and I was like, hey, I'm gonna watch that video. And it could just could not have come at a better time. And you know, I, I've been I've been praying, and I was like, God, um, please just help me make this work. Um, please just be with me. And I think. I don't know if it was like divine intervention or something. Um, but that video came at a great time. Oh man, dude, can I just end the video, please? And the Schlatt just kind of like spoke to me, and he was like, "It's okay to slow it down. It's completely fine to not have everything you want right now." And you know how like you're just laying in bed and you take a deep and it just feels so good and you just feel so much more relaxed that's kind of what it felt like and I'm just making this video because I want to let anybody who watches me out of her 102 subscribers maybe two people maybe one person maybe nobody watches it 
But if somebody does watch it, um, just want you to know that I'm going to make this work. Um, I really, I can't afford to not make this work. So, got some big things coming. I don't know how to end off this video. I just got big things coming. So, stay tuned.